Today's video is going to be a lot different than any video that we've put out. First off, I do want to say thanks, but I do want to let you know that the laughing and joking and stuff that you're accustomed to seeing occur is, 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 is not going to be in this video. Unfortunately, this is a update that I never wanted to give for this channel or just period. Um, for those of you who don't know by now, Andre, um, did pass. He did pass away. Um, he did pass away in a car wreck though. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, we doing a difficult one, man. That's a difficult video to do. Um, uh, we, um, we lost our brother, Andre. Um, I'm honestly not even sure where to go from here for those of y'all who have been watching our content or if you're new we appreciate you um but y'all y'all seen the connection the chemistry we have he is one of those guys man he's just a loyal friend witty creative super talented i posted a video the other day actually of one of his choreographies and the interesting thing about that is we had always talked about, hey, we're gonna do a lot more than just reactions on this channel so people can get a, a better glimpse of who we are and what we like. And also just to connect with more people in that room. And the video that I posted was actually just a test video. It was a rough draft because we had planned on shooting it in a much bigger and better way. Actually, if you look at the end of the video, the, the gimbal that I was using to film it actually went dead. It, like we don't put out stuff like that. Um, and so the problem was, is that test draft is the final draft. We had a lot of big plans, not only for that video, but as I'm speaking right now, it's January, 2023. We're not even out of the first month of the new year. This is just not what I expected at all. Man, it's, um, it, it's it's gonna be tough without him. Uh, real tough. It's, it's already been rough on us. Uh, his family. I mean, we all family. We we've been friends for so long that like, can't nobody tell us we ain't brothers. You know what I'm saying? All three of us, and um, just the dynamic of our relationship as a, a trio. Um, uh, you know, we we so different, but we so much alike in the same way. And you know, just speaking of my personal experience with with Dre, um, like I, I I didn't when I we first met, I didn't think I would have a lot in common with him. But the more we hung out and stuff like that, it just was like, dang, you like a lot of the stuff I like. Like we both were fans of the Houston Rockets. I mean, that's that's rare. Um. We both dance and stuff like that. Maybe one day I I show y'all my uh dance and stuff. I don't know, you know. Maybe my boy inspired me to go ahead and show all facets of me and stuff like that. But yeah, that's that's a just to name a few things. But it, it's many many more. I do want to let you guys know though, um, we do appreciate the support that you've been giving us, and despite me feeling very unsure about what the future holds in regards to this i can assure you that we will not be stopping um we won't be quitting um i did talk to his mom the other day and today and she was just expressing how you know it just brought so much joy to them they enjoyed the videos you know it, it was just fun and she wanted us to keep going and at that time before she had said that i was contemplating i'm not gonna say quitting but i was just contemplating how i was even gonna move forward with making content like i've done some videos on my own that were not i didn't prefer to do it it's just because of time and you know some of us may have been busy but normally y'all see me i'm right here <laughs> and dre right here it's um it's a different thing just talking to the camera by yourself like i'm actually having a conversation with one of my best friends on the mic and whether i know that or not what y'all saw from Dre on camera was not a show. Okay. It, it might have been entertaining. It might have been funny. Some of the things we said, y'all might have, some of the things might have resonated, but it was never a performance. He was not acting for the camera. And I only say that to let you guys know like, you got a good glimpse 
at who he was. If he was passionate about things, you know, he would have that high pitched scream where he would cut the mic out and you can barely hear what I'm saying and hear what he's saying. And, you know, close his eyes and he yell and every, and, and I don't know, every time I cut the camera off, I'm like, dude, hey, you got to stop screaming into the mic. They can't hear what you're saying. A high spirited guy, very soft spoken. Um, but the high spirit, I mean, I know that kind of contradicts itself, but I mean, that's just who he is, you know what I'm saying? As y'all can tell on camera, like sometimes, you know, he'll be a little reserved, but then when something funny pop up, y'all gonna hear that, <laughs> that high screeching laugh, you know? <laughs> but on the flip side, you know, he was one of the, he's just a friend, like, you, you, some of you may know, you had those friends where you may tell a dumb joke and nobody gets it, but just the two of you. And some of those dumb jokes I'll do on camera and not that y'all may even understand it, but I know he'll get it and, you know, we'll be cracking up um, even while the camera's rolling or after the camera's rolling, whatever the case may be. And I don't have, um, I don't have him there for, for that anymore. And like, likewise, vice versa, he would say some stuff and it would be funny and y'all may come to understand some of the stuff or just our style of joking. And I, I just, you know, I don't have anybody to bounce that off of in the way that I could with him. Now, obviously Brandon is, you know, he's a core member of the group as well. And we'll continue, but y'all just say y'all bear with us. We will. Um, we're gonna try our best not to let there be a as big of a gap. Um, we are taking a few days to process because the other side of this is, and I wanted to let you guys know when you see content drop, I don't want y'all to feel like we didn't uh take the time we need because honestly stopping and just sitting to myself it, it it makes me dwell on it a lot more and makes me you know puts me in a very a very sad place i actually had friends and, and family over his family as well was with them and uh just being around other people who knew him um although all morning and sad it is it's a good support system to have. So, and the reason I'm saying that is, I know Dre wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't want us to stop. We gonna continue, y'all. We will continue, because one thing about him uh, that we know he would want us to continue. We can't just sit down and and not uh not see where this goes, you know what I mean? He, he's been there since the beginning. We all, three of us, just in the studio sitting and was like, man, what, what, can we do to kind of like bring some lightheartedness to to what we do you know working wise and everything just have a relief of you know the stress of work and everything then we came up with this channel together man if y'all have been here since the beginning you know you remember the the video where we did um we were eating on camera and stuff like that um the mortal Kombat video that's actually one of our first big videos uh, and Dre was smacking it in the mic and stuff like that. And that's what made us like never do it again. <laughs> Cause everybody was complaining like good video, but man, y'all was smacking in the mic, but you know. <laughs> but um, it's just the fun we had together, man. And um, I always cherish the memories that I have with him, that we have uh, with him. Now we had also talked about, honestly, I'm transparent we talked about changing the name and that is something that may be on the table because i don't know how to continue with the same name same branding because it almost feels like he's you know we're doing we we're continuing to move on with something that he helped us build and he's not in it it just don't feel right to me the other part that's kind of a pit in my stomach is the fact that i know how, how hard he worked um, not only at this, but the other media stuff we did, other business things that we were into. And it, it's just kind of sad to see that um, as we're progressing, he he won't get to see the fruits of all of that labor. He was extremely hard worker. For those of y'all who didn't know, I'd often joke with him a lot of times about how, how sleepy he is. If you go back to some of my older videos, you actually see the dude falling asleep. Or if you don't see it, it's because I edited it out on some of the videos. But that was not because he was lazy. That was because we had been up for several hours. He had been up for several hours editing something else, re or not even reaction video stuff. You know, we shoot weddings, shoot basketball stuff, a lot of other things. 
and he was so exhausted by that and and, and i'm like come on man come on now let's get, get this reaction video and uh he would stick through it work through it with, with me whether and, and i'd ask him before i was like dude if you sleep we can just do this in the morning he's like no no man man come on come on let's go and uh and me knowing good and well he's gonna doze off and i was gonna have to edit some of those parts out definitely uh a hard working brother uh we we always mess with him about how sleepy he was but you know um it's a reason that he was sleeping you know what i'm saying like the man worked hard it was times where for a while he was the only one editing the videos um and making the thumbnails so that's a testament to how hard he works um and who he is you know what i mean you know our, our brother drowsy dre man uh <laughs> Like, like I said, we always mess with them about that, but you know, it, it's always been love and always will be love at the end of the day. I uh, I said this in an earlier update that we do plan on having people come on, but despite who comes on and who doesn't come on, nobody will ever replace replace Dre um, again. And one of the things you heard me say is one of my best friends, I will say he is... Uh, uh, probably my longest best friend, but he's, the reason I say one of my best friends is because um, he was one of those friends that he was so loving and kind and loyal that he didn't stop you from having other friends or letting other friends have as deep of a connection to you that others did. And um, that's the thing that's important I want to say about him because oftentimes you may have a friend and y'all don't let nobody come in between that fold. Um, and make no mistake when I say one of it's not to put him of lesser importance it's actually to make it y'all understand that it was that important to have a friend who is not only a friend to you but is open to uh, having other people come into the fold or y'all's fold as deeply as he has a connection with you that there is I'll never forget that we had a sushi night last week and um that's that's the last time he's been on my uh, personal camera, and uh, I really can't wait to put that out for y'all to see, you know, because um, I, I would like for y'all to know Dre a little bit, how we know him. I mean, it's it's not possible. Even, you know, if he was here, y'all never know him like how we know him. But just to get to know him even more, you know what I'm saying, get to know him a little more personally and everything, I would like for y'all to have that. So I will be, um, I'll be dropping that, you know, whenever um, time permits and whenever, you know, I can actually sit down and and, and look through that footage and, and get it together. Cause it's hard, man. It's um, it's real hard. Um, just me personally, I I I don't know if y'all know, but y'all know I'm from Memphis, so I've dealt with quite a bit growing up. To to lose a brother like this, man, I've I've lost people very close to me. But, um, you know, somebody that I see from sun up to sundown every single day. Literally that morning we was all together recording. He uh, moved on. So it's it's difficult, y'all. It's real difficult. So if if we don't have the same energy or the same type of ability to create great um, entertaining videos, man, y'all just... Y'all just um just stick with us, man. We we gonna move on and um we gonna get through this together. Um, you know I'm I'm just thankful that I was allowed to have um another week with them because y'all know I I um I don't know if y'all know but I literally just moved to Nashville last week um so we can you know really get to it and stuff like that and um I'm glad I got I got another week with them and I, I'm glad that. I, I'm able to be here in person, you know, f with Ad and, um, you know, just to be a uh, show that he can lean on and stuff like that. Because, um, you know, I, we was talking the other day and it was like, nobody really knows, like, the way we know each other and, like, the way our relationship is with, with all three of us. Nobody really knows but us. You know, you can, we can try to explain it and, and, you know tell people about it but nobody will really ever know and because it still doesn't feel real it feels like he's about to walk through i know you can't see he's about to walk through this door late <laughs> as he typically does sometimes time to time and i'm gonna get on to him like come on bro you know stop you know we, we supposed to meet at 8 30 what you doing 
and then he'll just kind of say something smart and, and we'll get to it but uh I, I honestly wish he could be late again um for a video i wish i all the times i was you know might have been like come on man you got to be like he's, he's not gonna be late again for another video um and that is uh it's crazy to think and, and going back to i did go and see the car this morning it felt unreal because not 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 seeing him but seeing the car and uh it was it's not a situation that uh anybody can walk walk away from without the lord directly pulling you from that situation i don't know god has a plan and a reason for everything this one right here is is definitely tough even when i'm in memphis i literally call every day like multiple times out of the day and you know and answer the phone Dre be right there or, or Dre will be coming in you know what I'm saying and he'll be over here working ignoring Addison <laughs> cause Ad be messing with him and stuff like that but you know um, it's, it's, it's a definite love that not many get to experience and I'm just thankful that I got to experience in it and, and I'm going to continue to experience it with my other brother you know what I mean so we appreciate your support we will continue to move on we have tons of content that i filmed with dre that i haven't even released yet i will put those out i will share that with you guys i'll let y'all see that but um those edits will come out but those edits will be the last one that include him but again if you have not checked out his dance video i would say go check that out because um one thing about that video and i and i returned it called it return to the king he's he's big into titles and, and names that have deeper meaning so i feel like he would like that one um but the thing about that is you never know when your whatever you're working on will be the last thing whether it's the final draft first version whatever case may be just giving things your best effort and that's one thing i can say about him he always gave it the best that he could um you know i'm not afraid to, to say i love him i love dre man i love dre uh, like a brother he was uh as close to me as a brother and people say it's so cliche to say blood couldn't make us thicker i'm not going to all of that i'm gonna just leave it at that he was a brother so for those of y'all um just pray for pray for me pray for my family pray for his family there'll be a lot of things coming up here pretty soon that we're gonna have to deal with that i feel like will be the things that solidify that it is actually real because it still does not feel real as i'm recording this we're gonna get through it we will continue because you know we know drake want us to keep on doing it like i talked to ad the other day and i was telling him i could i could just hear him like even though it's hard right now it's like i can hear him saying like certain things like drop that negro you know what i'm saying like we we got to keep on dropping for him and um he'll never be gone like uh you know he, he'll never be gone at the studio we gonna we gonna put some stuff up some memorabilia and stuff like that for him um i feel like that'll help us out but it's been your boy man and um uh, we gonna keep it going for dre man we do appreciate you guys we're not gonna stop we may not be the same we may not move forward the same we're always gonna strive to get better just want to say thank you guys and i know dre also is thankful for the time that he had with you and, and that'll be the end of this video. Like right now, I want to give you your flowers, bro. Let's zoom in so you can see it. Your flowers. Me and Brandon can get cropped out. It's about you right now, bro. Tell these people what you value about yourself, bro. I value the team, me, bro. Mm, so political, bro. That's the NBA answers right there. What else? I bro? value the team. Man, what is your skill? You don't come into this like by yourself, bro. Bro, straight up. never I, man. Negro. It's we. That's crazy. That's you all can't I'm even saying. see you come out. So it can't be no I. The doctor got to clear all this stuff out your face. That's a fact, bro. What you talking about? You said ain't no iron team. Yeah. You said you didn't come into this world by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I was just, you know, backing up some of the stuff you was making. So what else, bro? That's it. I'm done. No, no, no. Like, really basking. This is about you right now, dude. That's it. That's all I can handle about me. Damn, bro. Good dude. That's man. all I need.